this tells the story of innovation, product innovation, in a way never told before, granularly, case by case. These are stories, these are interesting stories, both for the technology, but for the people who were involved and who did it, and the challenges they faced and overcame in doing it. And as Gordon mentioned, if he didn't do this with Bill, I don't think it would have ever been done, and that would have been a shame, a shame particularly for future P&G leaders. There'll be a broad audience for this book, but the one I care about are P&G leaders, because I don't want them to ever fail to recognize that while we have to bring all these things together to be successful in manufacturing, in marketing, in finance, if we don't have outright product superiority that consumers see and feel meet their needs, we're dead ducks. We've got to do that. Our successes and when we failed relate entirely to that. Two other things that really turned me on about the book, one that you mentioned, Meredith, it not only goes over the stories, and they're fascinating stories, uh, but it, it gets into what Bill did so much, and that is, what's the culture you create that spawns this, that rewards it? What reward systems do we have? What celebration of heroes do we create? All these things are in the book. All these things were done under the leadership of these two men. They're vital. And the third thing that I love about it is it gives us a chance to recognize heroes. There are so many R&D heroes. I often said, I'd like to build a statue to that person and stick it out in front of the P&G building. The person who created two-in-one, shampoo, created always. I'll build a statue to them. Well, we don't build statues uh, for our inventors, but we can celebrate them as individuals, and this book does that. 